in their time of need. My name is N-O-A-A, <laughs> Noah. Noah Heaton's favorite things to do include building with blocks, reading books, and anything that has to do with wildlife. <laughs> it wasn't always fun and games, though. He was born with club feet, and we knew he was going to have club feet in utero, and his little feet were just turned in. Noah's mom, Stacy Heaton, says the condition meant weekly trips to St. Louis. And then he transferred into braces, and he had, and he still has some orthotics that he wears. And so CMN has helped us with that, uh, just the travel expenses to go up to St. Louis to stay in touch with all of his doctors. But that's not how they first got in touch with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Noah stopped using his hands. He would walk around like this. He wouldn't, he wouldn't touch anything. He'd hold his cups like this. And so we took him to the doctor, and the doctor ruled out any injuries. He didn't have fractures or anything. So um, we knew that it was some kinds of sensory thing because he also has autism. Stacy says they learned the hard way insurance wouldn't cover Noah's occupational therapy. Nice. And that's when they turned to CMNH. Oh, nice, nice. When it comes to your children, I think that's when it shifts. If it was for us, we probably wouldn't have done it, but you will do anything to help your kids. And they're worth it, and that's what they're there for. Stacy credits Noah's success to their Miracle Network family. I don't think he would be as far ahead as he is now in school, you know, with his fine motor skills, learning to write, playing Legos, all the little things that you use your hands to do. Heaton says special community events like Miracle Week are also helping Noah with social skills. Those kinds of experiences are so good for him to get out in the community, learn how to shake hands and interact with people and look people in the eye. And so it's it's opened a lot of opportunities for him just to grow. She hopes others choose to pay it forward to help other children across the Ozarks.